Hey guys, it's me, Mom, the eBayer, and I am coming to you today to show you some items that I found while dumpster diving. As you can see, I have a lot, a lot of bags in the middle of my um, workroom floor. Over here, you will see, and this is what really intrigued me to get all of this stuff out of the garbage, was this here. Somebody threw away an uh, entire box of jewelry. When I first saw it, you know, I was just like, you got to be kidding me. But when I kept digging and digging, I was absolutely right. Somebody threw away an entire uh, jewelry box. I'm sorry, that's my daughter's hand. But you have, I mean, some beautiful items inside. Um, what really caught my attention was this Ralph Lauren with the tag still on it. Ralph Lauren bracelet, if I can get the pearls out, if I can show you, Hold on. is this Ralph Lauren bracelet, brand new with the tag still on it, I mean, I got pearls, I have bracelets, black uh, ruby bracelets, I got 14 karat gold necklaces. I mean, just, I, I'm just like so super duper excited. Here, I mean, just a lot, a lot of good, good, good items. Also, too, <laughs> I found something that both me and my husband was looking for is a wet jet, Swifter wet jet. Spanking brand new in the box. Let me show you guys. Look, still with the styrofoam in place. I mean, just, somebody just threw everything away that they had. I guess they were spring cleaning, but I'm glad that they did because I am able to gain. Um, I'm going to go through each bag individually, and I will come back to show you guys the items that I was able to find while dumpster diving. All right, guys, so it took me about, uh, probably about 45 minutes to go through all of the bags that I had that I went dumpster, dumpster diving for. Well, I am going to show you the items that I was able to salvage um, with that lot of bags. Alright, first thing first, I found this Tory Burch shopping bag. And if you don't know who Tory Burch is, she's a, a well-known designer here in Chicago. And this bag right here I um, saw on eBay and it is going for, um, you know, a nice amount for it to be just a paper shopping bag. So I found this. I also found these two, um, I guess you would call them flat irons. One is a ceramic pulse, and the other is a Con Air in great working condition. Um, yeah, I showed you this already, the uh, Swifter Wet Jet. So I found this. I also found this. Original Bed Buddy Hot and Cold Pad. Um, I found this Waterly, um, what is it? I'm sorry, Waverly Shower Hooks. It's 12, a set of 12. And I think I'm going to keep these because I am remodeling my home and I like these shower curtain hooks. So I found those. I also found these really cute. Gap shoes, a size 8. Uh, I'm going to sell these on eBay, so if you want to purchase them, you can. Just go to Epic Boutique 2012, and you will find them listed on eBay. I found also a crafter's lot. You know, some uh, classic glass crafting beads. You know, let's see, wooden beads, glass beads. Stone beads, just a whole bunch of crafters beads. I might keep this as well because I like making my own jewelry. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Also, in this tote are all the items that I um, decided that I will keep from the bags that I found. So I found a couple of DVDs that I think I will. My husband will definitely enjoy these. I found a brand new pair of 
old navy sandals that I think are really cute. I might just sell them on eBay. They were $5. I think I'll just sell them for about $2. I found a brand new bottle of Moisture Wrap Neutrogena Body Lotion. I found a brand new workout top by Nike with the tag still on it. I found a really great umbrella that I'll keep. Can never have enough um, enough umbrellas. A cat book. I found some guest glasses. A vintage bottle of Ralph Lauren perfume. For those of you that don't know, anytime you find a vintage bottle of perfume at a Goodwill yard sale, resale shop, or a um, estate sale. Uh, usually it's best to pick it up because people will buy vintage perfume. It doesn't matter how full or how empty it is. They usually will buy it because you have to understand it is a discontinued product. And it's hard, hard, hard to find old bottles of perfume. So you have people that will um, buy vintage bottles of perfume. So I was lucky enough to find a vintage bottle of Ralph Lauren um, perfume. Also, I found some hairpins that I'll keep for myself. I found a Tiffany and Company bag. People buy uh, bags from prestige companies like the uh, Tory Burke bag that I showed you. Somebody um, bought a couple of those off eBay as well as um, Tiffany bags. So if you happen to see these, be sure to pick those up. Some bottles of uh, scents. Aromatherapy by Bath and Body. I think I'll go ahead and keep these as well. I also found a Con Air Ion Shine uh, blow dryer. I think I'll keep this as well. I'll probably give it to my daughter. I found. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I also found a lot of pins. You can never have enough pins. So of course I will keep these for the eBay office. I also found a Revlon makeup brush, makeup pencil sharpener. Can't have enough of these either. I found a lot of miscellaneous items. Some hooks that I'll keep. Um, some handmade, uh, what are these? Some handmade wallets made in Asia. So, hmm. I don't know if I'll sell them. I'll probably just donate them to the church. Also, too, um, I found a lot of clothes that I will be donating to my church. Uh, my church every year has a um, giveaway, clothing giveaway for the people in the neighborhood that's less fortunate. And I am truly blessed to say that I found quite a bit of clothes for that um clothing giveaway that we'll be having this year in July. So I'm excited to be donating to that. Um, also, uh, let's see, gift boxes. I found a lot of gift boxes and gift bags, like I told you earlier. Try to keep these. If you sell um, jewelry on eBay, you know, you will want to send your customers their jewelry in a box or a nice bag. You don't want to just send it to them um, just open, out in the open without anything covering it. To me, that's not professional. So I grabbed a lot of these different boxes just so I can, you know, mail off my jewelry in them. I also found a traveling container with a window squeegee inside. And last but not least, the best of them all, I found money, 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 money. Money. Yes, I found some money. No, I'm not a millionaire. However, I did find about, uh, let's see, about, about $10 worth of change that was just hanging around in the bags. So, guys, um, uh, this concludes my dumpster diving haul for today. If you want to leave any comments, please do leave them. Like the page, subscribe to my channel. If you want to ask me any questions, feel free to come to the Epic Boutique Facebook page and you can chat with me all day there. I encourage all of my followers and subscribers to communicate with me via 
Facebook because I uh, take, you know, some time trying to answer questions here on YouTube because I'm not on it all the time. Whereas with my Facebook page, I am on it all day. It's linked to my cell phone. So if you have a question to ask me, I will definitely get back to you the same day. Alright guys, so again, thank you for watching and I will get back to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.